Well, we need to go tell it on the mountain. I mean, I know I'm talking to the choir, but the choir got to sing louder, y'all. Now more than ever. I mean, and what was it just recently, Michelle? He is trying to tell our teachers that they are required to teach children that starting from middle school on, when they talk about American history and they come to slavery, they must tell them that there were some positive benefits to slavery. I mean, in what world would that ever be accepted? And how can we let them think they can get away with this in 2023? We must make sure our children know that slavery was evil, it was inhumane, and it was in immoral, point blank, period. It is not debatable. It is not both sides. And, and when I think about Roland Martin and him banning books and not letting them teach black history, I am reminded of the great George uh, Carter G. Woodson, known as the father of black history, who said, if a race has no history, if a race has no traditions that are valued and respected enough to teach the young people, he said then that race becomes a negligible thought in the mind of the world and thus becomes endangered of being exterminated off the face of the earth. So we say to the elected leaders of Florida and Texas and anywhere else, we will not let you all exterminate our black history, our black literature, or our black culture. We will stand up for our children. We will speak up for our children. And we will fight for our children.